Rosalie Ida Strauss, Neblan, February 6, 1849 to April 15, 1912, was an American homemaker and wife of the co-owner of the Macy's department store. She and her husband, Isidore, died on board the RMS Titanic. Rosalie Ida Blan was born in 1849 in Worms, Germany, to Nathan Blan, 1815-1879, and his wife Wilhelmine Mindel, née Freudenberg, 1814-1868. She was the fifth of seven children, including Amanda, 1839-1907, Elias Nathan, 1842-1878, Louis, 1843-1927, Augusta Carolina, 1845 to 1905, Moritz, 1850 to 1858, and Abraham Blunt, 1853 to 1881. She emigrated to the United States with her family. The couple was considered especially close by their friends and family, when Isidore traveled as part of his duties as a U.S. representative for New York or as co-owner of Macy's, they exchanged letters daily. Ida spent the winter of 1911-1912 in Europe with her beloved husband Isidore. They originally planned to return home on a different ship, but switched to Titanic due to a coal strike in England that caused the coal from other ships to be diverted to Titanic. On the night of the sinking, Isidore and Ida were seen standing near lifeboat number 8 in the company of Mrs. Strauss's maid, Ellen Bird. Although the officer in charge of the lifeboat was willing to allow the elderly couple to board the lifeboat with Miss Bird, Isidore Strauss refused to go while there were women and children still remaining on the ship. He urged his wife to board, but she refused, saying, We have lived together for many years. Where you go, I go. Her words were witnessed by those already in lifeboat number 8 as well as many others who were on the boat deck at the time. Isidore and Ida were last seen standing arm in arm on the deck. When the survivors of the disaster arrived in New York City aboard the RMS Carpathia, many, including Ellen Bird, told reporters of Mrs. Strauss's loyalty and fidelity to her husband. Her story struck a chord with people around the world. Rabbis spoke to their congregations about her sacrifice, articles in Yiddish and German language newspapers extolled her courage, a popular song featuring the story of Ida Strauss, the Titanic's disaster, became popular among Jewish Americans. Although Isidore's body was recovered, Ida's body was not. A cenotaph at the Strauss Mausoleum at Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx is dedicated to Isidore and Ida together. Its inscription reads, Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. Song of Solomon 8-7 the work was designed by James Gamble Rogers, with sculpture by Lee Laurie. Isidore Strauss, February 6, 1845 to April 15, 1912, was a Bavarian-born American Jewish businessman, politician and co-owner of Macy's department store with his brother Nathan. He also served for just over a year as a member of the United States House of Representatives. He died with his wife, Ida, in the sinking of the passenger ship RMS Titanic. Isidore Strauss was born into a Jewish family in Otterberg in the former Palatinate, then ruled by the Kingdom of Bavaria. He was the first of five children of Lazarus Strauss, 1809-1898, and his second wife and first cousin, Sarah Strauss, 1823-1876. His siblings were Hermine, 1846-1922, Nathan, 1848-1931, Jacob Otto, 1849-1851, and Oscar Solomon Strauss, 1850-1926. In 1854 he and his family immigrated to the United States, following his father, Lazarus, who immigrated two years before. They settled first in Columbus, Georgia, and then lived in Talbot Tun, Georgia, where their house still exists today. He was preparing to go to the United States Military Academy at West Point when the outbreak of the American Civil War prevented him from doing so. In 1861, he was elected an officer in a Confederate military unit but was not allowed to serve because of his youth. In 1863, he went to England to secure ships for blockade running. After the Civil War, they moved to New York City, where Lazarus convinced Roland Hussey Macy, founder of Macy's, to allow Al, Strauss and Sons to open a crockery department in the basement of his store. 
Isidore Strauss worked at L. Strauss and Sons, which became the glass and china department at Macy's. In 1888, he and Nathan Strauss became partners of Macy's. In 1893 he and his brother bought a controlling interest in Wexler and Strauss, renamed Abraham and Strauss. By 1896, Isidore and his brother Nathan had gained full ownership of a. H. Macy and Company. In 1871, Isidore Strauss married Rosalie Ida Blun, 1849-1912. They were parents to seven children, one of whom died in infancy. Jesse Isidore Strauss, 1872-1936, who married Irma Nathan, 1877-1970, and served as U.S. Ambassador to France, 1933-1936. Clarence Elias Strauss, 1874-1876, who died in infancy. Percy Selden Strauss, 1876-1944, who married Edith Abraham, 1882-1957, daughter of Abraham Abraham. Sarah Strauss, 1878-1960, who married Dr. Alfred Fabian Hess, 1875-1933. Minnie Strauss, 1880-1940, who married Dr. Richard Vile, 1876-1917. Herbert Nathan Strauss, 1881-1933, who married Therese Kuhn in 1907, 1884-1977. Vivian Strauss, 1886-1967, first married Herbert Adolf Scheftel, 1875-1914, with whom she had two of her three children and second, in 1917, married George A. Dixon Jr., 1891-1956. His great-great-granddaughter is singer King Princess. He served as a U.S. congressman from January 30, 1894, to March 3, 1895, as a Democratic representative of New York's 15th Congressional District. He won a special election in January 1894 to complete the term of Ashbel P. Fitch, who had resigned to become New York City Controller. Strauss did not run for re-election in the general election of November 1894. Also, Strauss was president of the Educational Alliance and a prominent worker in charitable and educational movements, very much interested in civil service reform and the general extension of education. He declined the office of Postmaster General which was offered him by U.S. President Grover Cleveland. When the newly formed Mutual Alliance Trust Company opened for business in New York on the Tuesday after June 29, 1902, there were 13 directors, including Emanuel Learman, William Rockefeller, Cornelius Vanderbilt, and Strauss. Traveling back from a winter in Europe, mostly spent at Cape Martin in southern France, Isidore and his wife were passengers on the RMS Titanic when, at about 11.40 p.m. on April 14, 1912, it hit an iceberg. Once it was clear the Titanic was sinking, Ida refused to leave Isidore and would not get into a lifeboat without him. According to friend and Titanic survivor Colonel Archibald Gracie IV, when he offered to ask an officer if Isidore could enter a lifeboat with Ida, Isidore refused to be made an exception, while Ida is reported to have said, I will not be separated from my husband. As we have lived, so will we die, together. Ida gave her maid her fur coat and insisted she get into a lifeboat. Isidore and Ida were last seen on deck arm in arm, eyewitnesses described the scene as a most remarkable exhibition of love and devotion, the ship sank at 2.20 am. Isidore's body was recovered and taken to Halifax, Nova Scotia and from their ship to New York. He was first buried in the Strauss Cones Mausoleum at Bethel Cemetery in Brooklyn, then moved to the Strauss Mausoleum in Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx in 1928. Ida's body was never found, so the family collected water from the wreck site and placed it in an urn in the mausoleum. Isidore and Ida are memorialized on a cenotaph outside the mausoleum with a quote from the Song of Solomon, 8 colon 7 many waters cannot quench love neither can the floods drown it. In addition to the cenotaph at Woodlawn Cemetery, there are three other memorials to Isidore and Ida Strauss in their adopted home of New York City. A memorial plaque can be seen on the main floor of Macy's department store in Manhattan.
The Isidore and Ida Strauss Memorial is located in Strauss Park, at the intersection of Broadway and West End Avenue at 106th Street, Duke Ellington Boulevard, in Manhattan. The park is one block from where they resided at 105th Street and West End Avenue, now the site of the Cleburne Building. An inscription reads, Lovely and pleasant they were in their lives, and in death they were not divided. 2 Samuel 1.23 New York City Public School PS198, built in Manhattan in 1959, is named in memory of Isidore and Ida Strauss. The building, at 3rd Avenue between East 95th and 96th Streets, shares space with another school, PS77. Strauss Hall, one of Harvard's freshman residence halls in Harvard Yard, was given in honor of the Strausses by their three sons. The couple is portrayed in the 1953 film Titanic the 1958 film A Night to Remember, and in the musical Titanic, in scenes that are faithful to the accounts described above. In the 1997 film Titanic, the Strausses are briefly depicted kissing and holding each other on their bed as their stateroom floods with water, during a sequence of emotional events while the ship's string quartet plays the hymn Nearer My God to Thee. A deleted scene shows Isidore, played by Lou Poulter, attempting to persuade Ida, played by Elsa Raven, to enter a lifeboat, which she refuses to do. Thank you for listening, and if you would like to hear more biographies, please leave a comment below and perhaps give a thumbs up and subscribe to help my channel. Thank you again for listening.